the UN has predicted that by 2100 there will be a drastic decrease in the local population in all European countries, except one. This decline has already begun in 17 European countries. Indeed, considering that some nations have experienced a slight increase solely thanks to immigration, we can say that it has begun in the vast majority of them. In this video, we will present the official data from the UN and Eurostat, and we'll analyze the causes leading these countries towards a slow disappearance. And in the end, we will see which is the one European country, that according to the UN, will instead experience a growth in its population by the end of the century. Welcome to this new video from Amazing Europe. Number 10. Bulgaria. The situation in Bulgaria is very straightforward high mortality, low birth rates, and a significant number of emigrants abroad. With 8.15 births per 1,000 inhabitants, the country struggles to counterbalance the 18 deaths per 1,000 inhabitants. Bulgaria holds the record for the highest mortality rate in the European Union, 82% of Bulgarians die from circulatory system diseases and cancer. Bulgarian doctors have been declaring for years that smoking and alcohol are the leading causes of mortality in the country. As for births, Bulgarian women actually have one of the lowest average ages for giving birth to their first child compared to other European countries. However, the challenge lies in emigration. More and more Bulgarians are leaving their country. In 2019, approximately 40,000 emigrants were recorded in search of better opportunities, compared to 13,000 immigrants and 9,000 returning compatriots. This has led to a loss of 10.3% of Bulgaria's population over the last 12 years. Number 9. Romania. In recent years, Romania has lost 13.3% of its population. Since joining the European Union, there has been a surge of Romanians immigrating abroad. It is estimated that around 5.5 million Romanians now live abroad, with 2 million of them in Italy and Germany alone. In truth, emigration had already begun in 1989 with the end of Ceausescu's communist regime. In December 1989, Romanians bravely protested against the regime, leading to the execution of the dictator on Christmas of that same year. While the regime ended, unfortunately the problems it left behind persisted, prompting many Romanians to choose emigration in search of a better future. Romanians have more children than Bulgarians, but they also face a high mortality rate, approximately 15.4 deaths per 1,000 inhabitants, and for the same reasons as Bulgaria. Number 8. Moldova. Next to Romania, both geographically and in this ranking, we find Moldova. This small nation has seen a 40% decrease in its population over 30 years. The UN predicts that by 2100, the population will further decrease by 38.6%, making the Moldovan population one of those most at risk of disappearing over time, at least within the borders of Moldova. Indeed, Moldovans will obviously continue to exist, but abroad, given the extremely high percentage of emigrants. On average, 150,000 people leave the country each year, mostly young individuals, and around 100,000 return, primarily individuals over 50 who have accumulated capital. Moldovan journalist Vitaly Siobhanu asserts that depopulation is visible just 50 kilometers from the capital, Chisinau, where one encounters deserted villages with few illuminated windows at night, dilapidated farms, schools left in ruins, broken roofs, and torn doors. Number 7. Bosnia and Herzegovina. In the past 12 years, the Bosnian population has decreased by 15%. According to the UN, this is the population most at risk of extinction in the long term. The projections are alarming. By 2100, Bosnia and Herzegovina will lose an additional 49.4% of its population, making it the nation that will depopulate the most by the end of the century. Emigration is also extremely high in this country. Each year, the state loses about 1.5% of its inhabitants, especially young students or highly skilled workers. This is causing concern among many Bosnians, as they realize that the mines capable of helping the country resurface are leaving. In addition to significant emigration, the country also has one of the lowest birth rates in the world, simply because there are fewer young people and fewer opportunities to raise children. It seems that this country is struggling to recover after the end of the Balkan conflict, marked by the Dayton Agreement in 1995. Number 6. Croatia. Among the nations primarily involved in the Balkan conflict, 
Croatia is the country that has rebounded the most, with a per capita GDP of around $17,000, much higher than Bosnia and Herzegovina's per capita GDP, which is $10,000 lower. However, this has not prevented Croatia from losing about 770,000 inhabitants in the last 10 years, nearly 17% of the population. Croatia is not only losing residents in rural areas but also in cities, making this case particularly unusual compared to neighboring nations. This is also due to a lack of housing, especially affordable for the younger population. According to Croatian media analyzers, the insufficient job market and the lack of housing for young couples are the main reasons for both emigration and low birth rates. But while Croatians are leaving, more and more immigrants are arriving, attracted by new job prospects in the tourism sector. In 2023, for the first time in 15 years, the number of arrivals surpassed that of departures, with Nepalese immigrants outnumbering Bosnians and Serbs. Number 5. Lithuania. The birth rate in Lithuania is less dire than in the countries seen so far, but the mortality rate is high, with 15.6 deaths per 1,000 inhabitants. Life expectancy in Lithuania has increased at a slower pace compared to the rest of the world. Experts attribute this mainly to three factors, alcohol, obesity, and suicides. One in three men in Lithuania has serious alcohol-related issues, leading to consequences such as road accidents and cardiovascular problems. Over 60% of the adult population in Lithuania is overweight, causing cardiovascular issues and strokes, the second leading cause of death in the country. Concerning suicides, it is a significant problem in Lithuania. It appears to have started after the fall of the Soviet regime due to all the social and economic changes that Lithuanians experienced. Since its peak in 1995, the suicide rate in Lithuania has steadily decreased, but it still remains the highest in the EU and among the 36 OECD countries. Lithuania has limited mental health facilities, creating an environment where seeking proper help is challenging. It's also worth noting that the Lithuanian healthcare system is not top-notch, particularly because public healthcare spending is among the lowest in Europe. Lithuania has lost 17.5% of its population in the last 12 years. Number 4. Ukraine. It is easy to understand why many Ukrainians are leaving their nation. On February 24, 2022, Russia invaded Ukrainian territory, marking a sharp escalation in the conflict between these two states, which had actually been ongoing since 2014. The war has caused the largest refugee crisis in Europe since the end of World War II. However, even before the war, migration had already begun. In Ukraine, 9.23 children are born per 1,000 inhabitants, but here too, the mortality rate is high. Before the war, it was 14.3 deaths per 1,000 inhabitants. So, even for Ukraine, numerous migrations, high mortality, and few births are the main causes for the drastic decrease in population. From 2010 to 2022, Ukrainians decreased by 18.2%, and it is estimated that there will be 40.7% fewer Ukrainians in 2100. Suicide is also a significant problem in Ukraine, even before the war. In 2020, suicides accounted for 1.7% of total deaths, sharing similar causes with Lithuania. Overall, the situation in Ukraine is similar to that of Lithuania, with cardiovascular diseases and strokes alone accounting for 64% of deaths. Number 3. Latvia. Latvia has lost 20% of its population in the last 12 years, and Eurostat predicts that it will lose another 40% by 2100 if the situation does not change. Latvia has made significant progress since leaving the Soviet Union, and this has indeed slowed down the phenomenon of emigration from Latvia to other countries, especially in Western Europe. However, many Latvians still move abroad. In the hope of creating new jobs and thus combating the youth exodus, the government has formed commercial alliances with Beijing, attracting many Chinese to relocate to this small country in recent years. The Latvian government's goal is to improve the country's economy and therefore provide better economic conditions for the youth. Indeed, Latvia is the new frontier of immigration for many countries. About 14% of the population here are immigrants, many of whom are Chinese. Regarding mortality, the situation is very similar to Lithuania. Moreover, Latvia is one of the countries where the gender-related life expectancy difference is most pronounced. In Latvia, there is about a 10-year difference in life expectancy between men and women, compared to the 5-year difference that is the European Union average. 
The Baltic News Network has attributed this to higher cancer rates and a general culture of health issues ignorance among men in Latvia. Number 2. Albania. In recent years, Albania has experienced an economic boom, primarily driven by tourism. Today's Albania is no longer the one from the 1990s after the end of the regime. Italians still remember the large ships filled with Albanian immigrants fleeing to Italy to escape the poverty and instability in their country. Now, Albania aspires to be the new Portugal in terms of tourism and attracting wealthy retirees from abroad. However, the wounds of the past apparently persist. From 2010 to 2022, Albania has seen a 21% decrease in its population, and if things do not change, there will be a further decrease of 35.5% by 2100. Emigration continues to be very high. The country has what is considered the third largest diaspora in the world, after Bosnia and Herzegovina and Guyana. There is still considerable poverty in various parts of the country, especially in the interior. As we mentioned, the situation is improving significantly, but among young Albanians, there is a sense of disillusionment about the future. Whether true or not, the youth lack hope that the situation can change radically and choose to emigrate abroad. The government is desperately trying to bring them back, offering them 5,000 euros and exemption from local taxes for one or three years, but for now, this seems not to be enough. Before revealing the first country, if you found this video interesting, we invite you to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We are preparing a video on European countries with the highest migration rates. If you don't want to miss it, click on the bell icon and enable all notifications. Number 1. Serbia. From 2010 to 2012, Serbia depopulated by almost 27% of its population, losing nearly 2.5 million inhabitants. Serbia is one of the countries with the oldest population in the world, and according to some United Nations estimates, it will be among the five countries, along with Bulgaria, Ukraine, Latvia, and Lithuania, that will lose one-fifth of their population by 2050, although we remind you that the record for the nation that will depopulate the most by 2100 belongs to Bosnia and Herzegovina. The mortality rate in this country is high, but not as high as some countries we have seen so far. The same goes for births. 8.74 births per 1,000 inhabitants are low, but there are countries in Europe in a much worse situation. So why are the inhabitants of Serbia decreasing even more? The explanation is simple, migration. But why do young Serbians emigrate? One might think it's because they are looking for better job opportunities and salaries, and that's true. However, various studies and interviews show that the main factor is a kind of disillusionment with transitions and changes. In other words, Serbians have no confidence that the situation in their country can change, living in a perpetual sense of unpredictability and impossibility to thrive. Young people cannot plan their lives in Serbia, and consequently, they go abroad. But, if all European nations are projected to decrease by 2100, there will be only one that will increase according to UN estimates. We are talking about Iceland. The population on this wonderful island has already increased by about 24% from 2010 to 2012. The increase is also thanks to immigration, as 16.3% of Iceland's inhabitants are immigrants. However, Icelanders themselves have also contributed to the increase. In this island, there are more births than deaths. There are 13.12 births per 1,000 inhabitants, while deaths are 6.5 per 1,000 inhabitants. It is predicted that by 2100, Iceland will be the only European nation to see an increase in its indigenous population, even without counting migrants. If things continue this way, there will indeed be an 8.8% increase in the local population. We are really curious to hear your opinions. We know we have touched on sensitive topics, and we hope to have done so with the proper respect for the people and nations involved. Write in the comments what you think about this situation. And if you want to lift your spirits, you can watch the video on the 10 happiest European countries or other videos about European wonders that you can find on our channel. Well, that's it for this video. Until next time.